The final part I want to cover now is just adding text. So if you go into your horizontal bar, next to your pen tool, you'll see a text tool. And so we can just drag this out. And this is your text box. The text is going to default to a um, size of 12. And you may want to increase that size. So you can type some text in here, hit Control A to select it, and then go into the right horizontal, I'm sorry, the right vertical bar and change this size. You know, you can make it a little bit bigger. Let's say make it 72, you know, it's bigger. I'll actually make it, um, let's see, half that, so 36. And what I want you to do is start to add some information here to make it understandable about what this is. So I will, you know, give this a title. Um, and I will call this personal assistant app layout. And then describe what it does. And maybe you want to use a smaller font size for that. So I'll change this to 20. And then let's see if select that and change select the text and change it to 20 this app is to help people and let's say I know I like to draw so I'm gonna you create an app that helps people how to draw Um, if you want to add some space between the lines too, you can increase what's called the letting. So the letting is the space between lines. So you can also go up into this text area and under, I think it's here under auto, you can kind of increase that space, you know, so that percentage will increase the space in between. It just makes it look more presentable. And then go ahead and add text to each screen and outline what these screens do. So screen one, you can call it your home screen. You can add more details here. You can say home screen to sign up, let's say. Um, and then we can select these Alt or option drag if you're on a Mac, these out. And then we'll have a screen two. And this screen um, shows the you know shows different tutorials. And then screen three can be um, helpful drawing hints. But these screens can be whatever you want. This is up to you. And then after you do this, this is basically your concept that's all set. And in the next video, I'll show you how to save this. And then you're going to upload this into Canvas and submit the final version as your assignment.